Hi, good morning, my kindergarten mathematicians. It was so nice seeing so many at your, uh, so many of you at your Zoom meetings. I sure do miss you. It is Mrs. Foster, also known as the Math Queen, and we're gonna do some fun math together. But before we do that, let's get ourselves in that math mindset. Point to your brain and say, "We think." Frame your face and say, "We act." And then make that talking sign and say, we talk like a mathematician. And let's go over that definition of mathematicians. I think you might be the only kindergartners in Spokane, Washington that could say the definition of a mathematician. A mathematician is a person who studies numbers and shapes. And Mrs. Foster always works with you with numbers. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is warm up our brain with counting. In kindergarten, you should be able to choose any number and count forward within the range of 100. So today, we're going to start at 71 and we're going to count by ones and stop when we get to 100. Now, there's two places that can be kind of tricky for kids when they're counting. So we start at 71 and we get all the way to 79. And then sometimes kids go back to 30. That's not the case. What number always comes after 79? 80. And then again, we'll start over and we'll get all the way to 89. What number comes after 89? 90. And then we'll get all the way to 99. And believe it or not, I can have kids that go all the way to 99, and when they get to 99, they say 30. It's not. What number comes after 99? 100. So it's really important to learn what we call those decade numbers, those multiples of 10. So go ahead and lock 71 in your brain, and let's count forward. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, and then we start over again. Numbers are very predictable. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, and we're going to start in the 90s, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, and we don't say 100, that's not mathematician talk, it's 100. Now the next thing that we're going to do to warm up our brains is we're also going to count backwards. We're going to start at 20. We're just going to count on back down to zero. So go ahead and lock 20 in your brain. And we're counting down, which is subtracting one from every number as we go. Okay, here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Now these next three numbers is where I notice kids get confused, but not my Sheridan Tigers. So we were at 14, 13, 12, 11, and then everybody whips through this next part. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh, pat, 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 back, back, back. Okay, so Mrs. Foster has some 10 frames. She's going to show you a brief look at it. And these 10 frames have dots on them. There's some dots in the top row, and there's some dots in the bottom row. So I'm going to be asking you how many dots, how many in the top row, and how many in the bottom row. So here we go. How many dots did you see? How many in the top row? How many in the bottom row? All right, let's go and check. Did you see two dots? And then there was one on the top row and one on the bottom row. And we can show that with our fingers. One plus one equals two. We're looking at doubles today. Okay, here comes your next one. How many dots? 
how many were in the top row? How many were in the bottom row? Okay, so let's look. Did you say four? Yeah, there's four. Two in the top row, two in the bottom row. So show two fingers on one hand and two fingers on the other, and we can say two plus two equals four. Okay, here comes our next one. How many dots? How many in the top row? How many in the bottom row? Let's check. Did you say six? And then did you say three on the top row? And three on the bottom row? Oh, we can make that double with our fingers. Show me three fingers. Show me three fingers. And then let's say that double addition equation. Three plus three equals six. Okay, here comes our next one. How many dots? How many on the top row? How many on the bottom row? Okay, let's take a look. Did you say that there were eight dots all together and there are four dots in that top row and four dots on the bottom row? And these are even numbers. Each dot has a partner, or I like to call a best friend. So now show me four on one hand, show me four on the other, and we can make that double equation. Four plus four equals eight. And then here's my last one. This one kindergartners seem to get from the beginning. Here we go. How many dots? How many on the top row? How many on the bottom row? Okay, so let's check. <gasps> Did you say 10? Yeah, how many on the top row? Five. How many on the bottom row? Five. How many all together? 10. So let's show that. Show me five and show me five. And let's say that equation. Five plus five equals 10. Oh. You guys are mathematician rock stars. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be working with some red counters and some blue counters. And also, these are called screens. I'm gonna be screening my collection. And so I'm gonna go ahead and move the computer down on my whiteboard here. Okay, so the first thing is I have three red counters and I have three blue counters. How many all together? Okay, so let's check. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I had six all together. Okay, I'm gonna wipe those away. This time, if my counters can get a, not slide away from me, this time I have four red counters and I have three blue counters. How many counters all together? So I had four, one, two, three, four, and then I had three more, one, two, three, and now let's see how many that is all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're gonna do one more of those. This time, I'm gonna start with five red counters, and I'm gonna put four blue counters. How many counters all together? Feel free to use your fingers, put five on one hand, four on the other hand, and then count those together. Or you might just be able to count on from five and add the four, or you might just be able to continue the count. 
Okay, so let's double, so let's look here. How many did we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had nine all together. Now I wanna show you this cool tool that Mrs. Foster has. It is a magnet, I call it my magic wand, and these happen to be magnetic counters. So all I have to do is sweep it, isn't that pretty slick? And then I can take my blue counters and put them in my blue baggie that I have. And then I've even got some red counters over on the side and I take my red counters and I put those off. So there we go, that makes it very easy for Mrs. Foster to put her things together. Okay, I'm gonna move this back up here and a game that we're going to play to game is practicing working on subtraction within the number five. And the game that we're going to do is called Kitty Fun Within Five. And I'm going to send this to your teachers and they'll put it on your Clever page, of course. Or if you need it to, you could stop the video right now and go get a piece of paper and you could write down these subtraction equations and then you could write down uh, what the answer would be in there. So we're just gonna have time to play a couple of rounds of kitty fun within five. So subtraction you, is one of the parts of the number is gone. So I'm gonna put this down here and I'm gonna get it in my screen. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna use my dice with number on it. And how about we start on this kitty down here? So I'm gonna roll the dice. Oh my gosh, I get to go six spots. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here is my problem. I have five minus five. Oh my gosh, so if you kind of think about that as like M&Ms, I had five M&Ms and I ate five M&Ms. How many would I have left? Yeah, you're correct. I would have zero left. Okay, and I'll have you all, you guys can start on this kitten up here. So I'm gonna roll, 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 oh, one. Okay, here's your problem. You have five minus zero. Oh my gosh, that is so easy. So sort of like if you have five M&Ms and you don't eat any, how many M&Ms would you have left? You would, you would have five. Nice thinking. I'll go ahead and cover up a five for you. Okay, I think we're gonna just do one more turn for Mrs. Foster and one more turn for you all. I have a two. One, two. Oh, well my problem is five minus three. So if I think about five, and I think about those three, or if I see three dots on the five frame, what goes with three to make five? Oh, two. So if I take three away, I'm gonna have two left. Okay, last rolly roll, 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 three. One, two, three. Your problem is four minus three. So again, you wanna know the, all the different parts of four, so if you, could say, well, gosh, what goes with three to make four? Or you could count backwards and go three, two, one. So four minus three would be one. All right, my kindergarten mathematicians, our time has come to an end. Let's go ahead and do our math chair. I've got my hand in. Hopefully you've got your hands, put it on the top. Here we go, one, two, three, math is cool and tigers rule. Break, have a wonderful day.